We are going to create a Microsoft Word tutorial for teachers uh, using the smart recording software. So I'm going to go down to start. I'm going to go up to programs, smart technologies, notebook software, and I'm going to click on smart recorder. That's going to bring up this recording right here on the right hand side of my screen. Then I'm going to use Microsoft Works. This is what I want to create my tutorial in. Now that I have Microsoft Word open, I am going to begin. I'm going to go and insert a header and footer. I'm going to insert my header, and it's going to be Sample Microsoft Word Tutorial for Teachers. And as you can see, it's okay if I misspell something, Microsoft Word tells me so. I'm going to right-click this and it tells me Microsoft, that's what I want. So I click that again and it pops up. I want to change this. I want to change my font and by doing that, I go up here to the font drop-down and I'm going to use Comic Sans. So I'm going to use Comic Sans. I change that. Now I want to change my font size. I'm going to bring it to size 20. Click on that. It's a little too big, so I'm going to decrease the size and go to 18. I'm also going to re-highlight this. I'm going to make it bold so it sticks out. I'm going to try to click off this so you can see. There it is. Now you can see that it's bold. I'm going to underline it as well. You can see it underlined. And I'm also going to italicize it just for a little kick. Alright, next thing I want to do is insert the clip art image. So I go to insert and I drop down to picture. And I go over to clip art as I'm doing on the screen. Click that. I'm going to type in computer which I've already done so. Now I click go and it should bring up a bunch of images of different computer things. And I like this one right here. So I'm going to double click it and my image shows up. Now I can change the size of this by dragging in the corners, making it, pulling it further away makes it larger, pushing it towards the image making it smaller. I don't like it there in the left hand side so I'm going to center it by using my center align. I have align left, center, align right, and justify. But I'm going to use this center. The next thing I want to talk about is copying and pasting. I did this previously. So I have another document called MS Tutorial. And what I'm going to do is show you what I want for my final draft. You can see it there. All right. So I want to get rid of my clip art images here. So I'm going to close it out because I have what I want. And now I'm going to move my recording box back over here in the corner so it's out of my way. All right. So I'm going to type out. I have to line this back to the left. I'm going to type out what we have talked about so far. Um, we've talked about alignment, talked about font, we've talked about clip art, underlining, we've talked about making a uh, word bold, italicizing a word, um, we've talked about a header and footer. We've talked about, um, those are things we've talked about so far. Uh, next three things that I want to talk about are saving a document, printing a document, and also copying and pasting. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to my tutorial, my one that I previously saved, and I'm going to highlight 
what I typed up before. And I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to right click. It's going to bring up this menu. I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to go back to my other document. I'm going to highlight this, and it's, the stuff I'm going to paste in is going to replace what I've highlighted. So I right click again, and I go down to paste, and I click paste. These are the things we've talked about. So now that I have this, I'm going to scroll up. And we're going to actually go and say File. What we want to do is go to Save As. And I'm just going to say that, save this as we have talked about. And I'm going to click Save. Now if I want to print this out, I go back up to File again. Drop this down. I go to Print. And I click on whatever printer I have and I OK it. And it should print out. I'm going to close it out because I don't want to print it. Um, but those are some basic things about Word. Um, I hope you're able to take this and make your own tutorial on Microsoft Word. And hopefully you'll be able to use SmartBoard or Smart Recording for your students to follow. Um, you can do this for any activity. Uh, Microsoft Word if you want the students to uh, specifically do something that they're not too uh, too good at yet. You can do this video tutorial. Or you could do it for whatever other thing you'd like to do. Microsoft Excel, maybe you want to do some other program. Maybe you want to do it on searching the internet, searching the web, something like that. But anyway, thank you for listening.